I think I might need a uh, bicep shot in there, like Jason Blaha. I had um, someone say that they thought I was 60 kilos, so <laughs> I might need to, you know, put something in there to show that I got some muscle. Yeah. So I noticed in my um, personal training class, a lot of people eat tuna, and I was actually quite concerned about how much tuna they eat because I saw a lot of people bringing in three or four cans of tuna. Tuna has a lot of mercury and because it's higher up in the food chain. Uh, the higher up in a food chain a animal is, the more contaminants it has it's because it eats other uh, animals which can't get rid of those contaminants so it builds up and um, there is actually a calculator to find out how much fish you should eat it's actually um, it's an American site and I know a lot of you from the US so it's relevant to you guys and basically you can have you can have about two of these so about that that big and they're about that high. You can have two of those. Um, now I know this is not relevant to um, vegan eating, but I just thought I'd put it up there, put it out there, uh, because I think it's extremely unhealthy to eat something with such high mercury counts. Now I'm going to link a site actually from uh, Food Standards Australia, New Zealand because you can actually eat a bit more however it's only it's only roughly 150 grams more a week so even then shouldn't really be eating that much I also want to make the point that fish is the biggest source of mercury in the diet Now the reason mercury is so serious is because it actually it can pass the blood brain barrier and it can affect nerve sig signaling. So and it is in it's particularly bad for um, pregnant women because it's extremely bad for the fetus. Um, I'm just reading here. Uh, even in low doses, uh, mercury may affect a child's development delaying <coughs> walking talking, sh uh, shortening attention span, and ca causing uh, learning disabilities. Uh, less frequent high doses uh, exposure to mercury can cause mental retardation, uh, cerebral palsy, uh, deafness, and blindness. So it's quite dangerous. And I heard Jason Blaha talking about it as well, um, saying that it can cause... <coughs> um, cancer of the bone and that's also a bad thing so it's not exactly something you want to consume on a regular basis it's more of something um, I mean I would recommend don't eat it at all because it's not healthy it's fish you shouldn't be eating fish um, cholesterol saturated fat positives would be it's got omega-3s but you can get omega-3s from anything you can get omega-3s from algae which is where the fish get their omega-3s from so you can get it from the first hand source and it has less contamination so my advice should you eat fish no I don't see the point of eating fish you can get omega-3s from a million other sources including vegetables and plants EPA DHA if you really want to take a supplement take an algae supplement and it won't have the contamination from the mercury at all because plants basically can get rid of all the mercury or not all of it but you can get rid of you know 99 percent of it whereas it builds up in tissue in humans and it takes a long time to expel it